बारहवीं सदी के एक प्रसिद्ध हास्य रचनाकार हैं इनकी एक अद्भुत ट्विंस है ये कहानी इटली के शहर वेनिस में जन्मे दो भाइयों की है जो जन्म के बाद ही बिछड़ जाते हैं समय के साथ एक भाई अपने आप को साधे गांव के युवक के रूप में पाता है और दूसरा शहर के अल्हड़ दुनियादार के रूप में एक दूसरे से पूरी तरह अनजान वे दोनों भाई संयोग से अपने आप को एक ही शहर में पाते हैं हर स्थितियों का चक्र अपना रंग दिखाता है और वे दोनों प्रेम के माया जाल में फंस जाते हैं अपने अपने आलम्बन की प्राप्ति के लिए वे दोनों भाई अपने मार्ग में आने वाली हर बाधा का पूरे उत्साह के साथ सामना करते हैं विचित्र घटनाओं के घात प्रतिघात में सच्चा प्रेम ही प्रेमास्पद को प्राप्त करता है शुद्धास्य का रोमांच संगीत का उदाम आवेग उदात हास्य का तीखापन और आवेग चेष्टाओं के चुटीलेपन के ठहक में दुवनेशन ट्विंस के साथ ये शाम इस वर्ष को अलविदा कहने का अपना अलग नटखट और चपल अंदाज है स्लैपस्टिक कॉमेडी ब्रॉड फार्स मैनिक पैरोडी एंड वर्ड विल कोलाइड इन दिस इन्वेंटिव एंड रेवेंट अडेप्टेशन of Carlo Goldoni's 18th century Commedia dell'arte identical twin brothers parted at birth one sophisticated and urbane the other naive and guileless turn about the in the same town unaware of each other's presence each is in a pursuit of a damsel each has a rival in love and he must overcome obstacles to achieve his heart's desires mayhem ensues but the youthful heroes prevail the pompous spoil sports get their come up ins true love wins and everything resolves happily in the end bursting with knock about larrikin humor rollicking song and dance numbers inspired clowning a touch of whimsy and a sexiness an evening with the venetian twins is a delicious to end the year ladies and gentlemen carlo goldoni's eternal classic the venetian twins 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 Twins, twins, two for the show. Here is a story from long, long ago. A story of brothers, a story of twins. Parted at birth, but alike as two pins. Twins, Venetian twins. So our story begins. Well, where would you think? Venice? No opening in Venice. Perugia or Cremona? We open in a judge's house one day in old Verona. Twins, twins, peace in our pod. Double your blessings, a bonus from God. Each had a dimple, each had a mole. Two baby brothers, two halves of a whole. Yet. Neither am I. Look at me. You're paid to dress me, not sit primping yourself at my mirror. I have spent all morning helping you, Senora, and now it's my turn. You don't care if my fiance sees me undressed. He'll have to face it sooner or later. But he'll be here any minute with a saw in my fiance. So I have to look my best. Get up! Get up! Get out! Daddy! Daddy! Rosina! Rosina! Have you finished your toilet? Your fortune! Your fiance will be here any minute. Signor Zanetto! They christened one Tonino, and Zanetto was his brother. But not a soul knew who was who. Not even dad or mother. Twins, 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 
in a pod Two carbon copies of both a strong god The midwife was sober but still she saw double Two dump in seven and I double your trouble Yes, Senor Zanetto, I believe I spied him right on the street. Oh, Daddy, do you think he like me? Of course, my dear. You are young and pretty. But will I like him? Of course, my dear. He's young and pretty rich. So led to his uncle, the richest man in Bergamo. He's come into quite a fortune. When a wealthy country uncle declares he needs an heir. The parents quickly toss a coin and send Zanetto there. Twins, twins, split in the pot. Two different pathways, two brothers have trod. One in the country and one in the city. Brothers divided a terrible pity. Oh, then he's an only child like me. No, I believe he has a twin brother. Tonino. But they're both orphans. Lost their mother and sister on the high road. Father died of grief. Terrible story. Oh, poor Zanetto. And the other one? Tonino. Tonino and Zanetto. Despite all this bereavement, they've never been reunified. Tonino still in Venice, and Zenetto's turn to see your right. You meet them both, the country boy and his Venetian brother. But I lie to pins to please these two. Venetian twins, we swear to you, are so alike there's no one who can tell one from the other. Yes, there is at a door. I'll go myself and welcome him, then bring him up to meet his bride. Where are you going, you saucy little girl? She's not the only one getting married. I want to check out the servant. He is not here yet. Signor Zanetto was riding on his own. Columbina, life is so unfair. That poor Signor Tonino. I imagine my fiancé got everything. The inheritance, the charm, the intelligence. Oh, Sino Zanetto, welcome. Thank you. Good day. Rosina, this is Signor Zanetto. You are the one. Are you? Your humble servant, Signor. Oh, where's your daughter then? Right here. She sheds to the servant. Merely a turn of phrase. Oh, that's a bad start. What? I don't want my wife turning any phrases. Daddy! Shall we start again? Senor Zanetto, I meant to show you my respect. Oh, did you now? Don't you like me, Senor? I don't know. I only just met you. I mean my appearance. What's that to me? I'm here on business. And as soon as my servant Alukino gets here with my money and my jewels... But you have come here to marry me, haven't you? Oh, have I got to do it right now? right -o. give us your hand. What? Give us your hand and we'll get it over and done with. Daddy! My dear son-in-law, there's no need to be so hasty. First you must woo your fiancé. Woo her? Yes. How do I do that? I haven't got my money and my jewels. Uh, my dear son-in-law, try a few little affection. I am sure you can show her a trick or two. A trick or two? Do me a favor. Of course. Get out of here. You're making me look silly. Just as you say, my boy. Remember, so let your fortune. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? 
Your dad said to show you a trick or two. He didn't mean tricks like that. He meant for you to press your suit. I had it done just before he came. No, silly. Press your suit to me. Right here now? Yes. In front of all these people? Yes. You sure you won't mind? Of course not. Press it now. Right oh. You were I was a bit so Good morning, dearest. How your face speaks. Some sorrow that assails your maiden heart. Oh, senor. You know, we've been expecting my fiancé. Oh, how long that news has stirred my fevered brain. He's here and he's a fool. One thing that he's shameless. My father brought him in just now. Left me alone with him. And he... He, he what? Oh, splendid! Wise and prudent maiden heart! Heroic hand! Oh, let me press my lips thereupon in reverence. Mm. 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 Then I was right to slap him. Quite right to spurn the literary of youth. And now, seek out an older, wiser man. But where? <laughs> where fate decrees. Till then, have faith in me. You like this letters? Lustful in courses, beast? Let not your lips pronounce his name again. You're sure? Then I'll go and tell Daddy I won't see him again. Aren't we lucky to have such a family friend? My rival here. I must win her by tonight. But how? 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 I'm fiendish, I'm fell, I'm a dark and brackish well, I walk the streets of hell, yes, the well, yet my manner is severe, sanctimonious, so stare, I'm slightly insincere, yes, the well, I'm evil to the marrow, I'm rotten to the core, I'm a funnel web who's hovering above the privy door, I'm a rake, a snake, a hypocrite, but where is it got me? I'm single and poor, so I'm getting tired of villainy. Hypocrisy is a chore. There must be a way to get the girl. Or what's a villain for? Yes, villain. Should I beg on my knees? Or should I whoop as all or teeth? Rosina, won't you please kiss the villain? Kiss the villain. Though a villain's look can kill, although his smile can cast a chill, on his lips you'll find the thrill. Kiss the villain, kiss the villain. I could meet her every need, satisfaction guaranteed. She'd be mine if only she'd kiss the villain. Now Rosina's got Luther knocking at the door. I must do a spot the villainy, for I adore. I could meet her every, every need. Satisfaction guaranteed. She'd be mine if only she'd kiss the villain. Though she's got another suitor, I have a trick or two in store. And before too long, she'll fuck her up. Or what's a villain for? No, 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 Signor Florindo. You have been very kind, but I must go. I'm returning to Venice. Oh, but why so soon? So soon? I have waited here for six days for my beloved Tonino, and still there's no sign of him. Are you sure he said he would follow you here? I'm certain. Either something has kept him in Venice, or... <coughs> oh! Fortune! He has changed his mind! <gasps> if only he has! So I must return to Venice and see for myself. No! No? Senora Beatrice, 
I cannot allow you to go. But why? Why? Uh, Tanino is my friend. He has entrusted you to my care. There's no one that I love and honor more than Tanino. He's like a brother to me. I'm lying. I cannot let her go because I'm crazy about her. But I've left home and family for him. He's my entire reason for living. So I must go and find him. Oh, wait just a little longer. And lose Tonino forever. But if you've lost him already, why return to Venice? Hello? Why linger in Verona? Hello? Here you might meet someone else. Someone brave, strong, stylish, natural blonde perhaps. Someone who could well help you forget Tonino. Forget Tonino? The finest man in Venice? Never! I would follow him to the ends of the earth. Senor Patrice! Senor Patrice! A voice? Could it be? Damnation! It's that fop Lelio? He trails her like a spaniel. Senor Patrice! It's that fop Lelio! He trails me like a spaniel. For the love of heaven, do not let him find us. Senor Patrice! Hold your ground, Senora, while I drive him away. Senor Patrice, I am yours to command. You would be foolish to refuse me. I am handsome, rich and witty. Foolish I may be, Senor. But today, today, today I'll leave your city. Then I will follow oh, you. Oh no! I'll give you everything, everything, everything. Footman grooms a goat and pair. How dare you offer anything? She is in others' care. And who is that, sir? I, sir. You, sir? He, sir. I, sir. And who are you, sir? Her brother? Her father? Some kind of chaperon? None of these, senor. A friend. A loyal friend. A loyal friend? A loyal friend. Who's here to help a woman on her own? To help a woman on her own? A helpless woman on her own. Her paramour. Her guardian. What rubbish? No, it's true. Her guardian should need to guard against a man like you. Senora, he's a common cat. A wretched parvenu. Oh, parvenu? Precisely, sir. And low and vulgar too. Senor, these grand and adjective insults threaten your survival. Any man will stay alive will. Be advised, I broke no rival. Senor, if you're seeking trouble... I'll attend you on the double. Save your sword to trim your stubble. You are not but froth and bubble. You ruffian! You popinjay! You bounder! You buffoon! You malapart! You waterfly! You upstart! You poltroon! I'll say your insults, gentlemen! They'll lead to bloodshed soon! <laughs> to bloodshed? It's all hot air within this big balloon! The hand that wields this sword is dab, sir! Let it dab, sir! Stop this gap, sir! I shall lay you on the slap, sir! Carve you up for sheesh kebab. Uh, sir, and how will you survive unscarred, sir? See, brother, sir, and dad, sir. Sell your gizzards by the yard, sir. Now you've gone too far. On guard, senor. You tripped me? Yes. Now that was superior swordsmanship. <clears throat> I was never good with swords. Hold it right there! Point your sword this way. Oh, Tonino, my dear friend Tonino. Shh. No names. Come, sir. Let me see some of the superior swordsmanship. Is enough for me. I have saved my friend's honor. There is no need to kill you. Oh, don't thank me. At least that's the way we do things in Venice. And now, sir, be gone. I shall have my revenge. I am ready for you any time, sir. Tonino, my dear friend. Shh. No name. Where's Patrice? Oh, Patrice? Shh. Who is Patrice? My betrothed. 
She has fled from Venice and I sent her here into your protection. But Tonino... Your I've, names! I have not seen this Signora... Uh, Beatrice. But she left Venice over a week ago. She has not arrived in Verona. Then where can she be? I wish I could help you, Tonino. No names! Oh, no names! Why not no names? Why did you send this lady from Venice? And why have you come here yourself? Why? Why? I'm glad you asked. Beatrice has a rival suitor, a mere poltroon, favored by her family, but repugnant to her. Beatrice and I decided to elope. Oh, but you sent the lady ahead of you. I am no coward. I tarried to face my rival. He insulted my honor, and I did the only thing that a man can do. No! Yes, I raised my strong right hand. And you? Yes, I slapped him. Oh, you slapped him? Just like that? Just like that. Open palm leaves no bruises. Oh, you're quite a man. I know. But now, in my beloved Venice, I am an outlaw. <gasps> and you did all that for love? For love and honor. I'm as supple and swift as an Arabic stallion. As fine as a study by Titian As brave when as strong as a mighty battalion In short, a Venetian When my honor is challenged I stand And crush every foe into pesto With a wind at my back and a sword in my hand I utter my bold manifesto It's a vagabond life and I live it in my way I shave with the edge of a cutlass The boots that I wear as I ride on the highway Are tied with the guts of the gutless I could challenge an army of Turks And squash every foe into Plato I am ready for danger wherever it lurks As I trumpet my masculine credo <laughs> Never, never cross a true Venetian Never cross a man of your degree. Never cross a man who's brave and fine. One who's up at six in bed by nine. One who walks a straight and narrow line. Oh, never! Never cross a man like me. So now you know why I'm here and why you must not say Tonino! it. Tonino! Don't say it! Beatrice Sura may have followed me here. But what will you call yourself? I shall call myself Zanetto. <laughs> Zanetto? <laughs> Not a very fashionable name. It's the name of my twin brother. He lives in the country, so there's no harm in using his name in the city. Very well, Tony. Uh, Zanetto. But where are you staying? Uh, I have only just arrived. I've given it no thought. You would be very welcome at our place. Oh, if thank only you. Uh, we didn't have the painters in. Oh. Well, then I shall stay at this inn here. Are you not offended? Offended? Not at all. You are my brother, my friend. We do what we can for each other. At least, that's the way we do things in Venice. And now, sir, I shall see you shortly. This is terribly wrong. I am the hero's best friend. There's no one that I love and honor more except and fraternal love is binding as law unless he's my brother and I'm loyal to the core. Until, until, and disloyalty is something I deplore all the way except unless I'm the loyal to. Oh yes, I love him like a brother. Yes, I'm loyal to the core. Yes, I swear there's not another in the world I honor more. Twins, the world has always seen us. No dishonor should demean us. To betray my brother would be heinous. But Venus has come between us. Oh yes, I love him like a brother. Yes, I'm loyal to the core. Yes, I swear there's not another in the world I honor more. Tonino is my friend. I am his loyal true and true friend. But my friend, it's time to say adieu, friend. Screw you, friend. I have got a new friend. Yes, Beatrice. Yet in house, whomever. Could I do it? Oh, never.
But I, I, I will. You bet I will. That's enough of it. I'm not showing any more tricks. Aha! Now you will meet me face to face. You Phoenician sewer rat! I'm come for my revenge. Eh? Well, might you be startled? You thought I would not come. Did you? Oh, no. Well, then do you feel this? Yes. Put your hand on yours. On mine? Yes, yours. Not yours? No, yours. On my what? On your sword. My sword? My sword? Why? You said you would fight with me at any time. Oh, did I? Yes. Must have slipped my mind. Come on, senor. Go easy. You could hurt someone with that, you know. You mock me, senor. Do I? I know you are no coward. I'm not no coward. Come on, senor. I don't know. They slap you, they poke you, they call you no old coward. I don't think I like this place. On God, you know. Please. Are you sure I'm no old coward? And now, senor, for my revenge. Stop! How dare you take advantage of my dear friend? This oh. must be Noel Cowan. Go on, Noel, stick it him! Stick it up his nose! No. I will let him live, as you did last time. Yeah? Just like last time? Last time? Senor, you are a worthy opponent, but your friend, he is a disgrace to his native Venice. No, I'm not. I'm a disgrace to my native Bagamo. <laughs> of course. That's a part of your plan. To play the poltroon. Play the poltroon? I can't even play the kazoo. Thanks for saving me. But, Noel. My friend, you must leave Varuna at once. I fear that slap has made you an outlaw. You reckon a slap like that? I fear so. And the lady, you've not seen her yet? No, not since, you know, thank goodness. Thank goodness? And I don't know if I want to see her again. <gasps> oh, then Beatrice is mine. Oh, if only I can find her. Take my advice and go back home. That's just what I'm going to do. If you must, then fair. Tony, I'm Zanetto. See, you know her. He seems like a nice fella. I think he likes me. But but geez, this is a funny place. No one's right, I should shoot through. No, but that Rosina, she is really nice, even if she did slap me. But I know what I'll do. I'll buy her a really nice present. Yes, present? That fool Zanetto, still about her door. Hang on, I can't. Alakino hasn't arrived with my money and my jewels. Oh, shit! Good, senor. Who is it thou? Seekest within? My fiance. Zounds! Thou seekest the maid? Who? Slabity? Yes, Rosina. Once thou make peace with her, my friend, thou finds her pleasing to thine eye. In marriage now thou seekest her hand. Good, senor. How I pity thee. You do? Wouldst marry with a woman? Yes. Who else? Who's take unto thyself a wife? Yes, well, why or not? I don't get you. Thou gets me not. Then I must teach thee straight. I'll show thee now the error of thy ways. From the moment Adam lost the rib and found that he was lumbered with a wife, he discovered that the hand that rocks the crib can rock the firm foundations of a man's whole life. You're better dead than wed. That's a better end than a wedding. If you're fool enough to lose your head, choose a beheading, not a wedding. Are you sure? Look into my eyes. Would I lie? Let me get this straight. Dead, not wed. Dead, not beheaded. Don't get wedded, get beheaded. Well said, senor. Yeah, but why? Why? Now 
your happy rich and single in your purse the penny single soon as man and wife commingle the purse is drained and so are you renounce the female sex there'll be a thorn in your side sir reckless men who want to risk their necks should find a hangman not a bride sir you're better dead than wed that's a better end than wedding if you're fool enough to lose your head choose beheading not a wedding they've poison on their lips that they leave fire in their eyes a fork in the tongues and a wriggle in the hips there's venom in their sighs rotten gas in their lungs they'll deprave you they'll enslave you they'll make you rant and rave you need this golden rule to save you you're, you're be better dead than wed one more time you better hang than hissed good you better bear it than married and if a woman has a man bewitched you better burned better burned better fried than subjected to a bride better barbecued for life then to have to take a wife better spat to your bed with a bullet in the head better dead than married you're better dead sorry it just slipped out my beloved at last <sighs> Sorry, I wouldn't have done if I'd known you're there. <laughs> oh, playful one, when did you arrive? Sorceress, raging fury. Oh, hanging jury. Oh, heartless hoory. Hoory? Yes, hoory. I don't know what it means either. But my dear Ress, don't you dare ask me. Am I not your promised bride? No, better dead than wed. What? Better hanged than hissed. I beseech you. Don't you beseech me, old hoory? I renounce the female sex. Besides, I don't even know you. He knows me not. Oh, seduced and abandoned, despised and rejected, spurned and insulted, alone and unprotected. This is vexing and distressing. What do I hear? My heart says that love is a gypsy, wild by far. That we know. That we know. On where he rides, my megya, and I'll follow. He's my part to Tenino. To Tenino, death or glory, for my one commended toy. Gypsy love, lovely gypsy, gypsy love, ole. Hmm, so this is Verona. I tell you, it's bigger than Bergamo. It's a big town, all right. But how am I going to find Signor Zanetto? In a town this size, meet me at the inn. He says, "That's all very well, but which inn? There are two inns. Which inn is he in? And I've got his money and his jewels and his purse and his belongings. Signor Zanetto, Signor Zanetto, <laughs> he's come all this way to get married, but he can't do it without the dowry, and I've got that here. Hmm. Maybe I could use it for myself." Yes, he's not the only one who's getting married. I am giving it a try as well. He gets the mistress, and I get the maid. But I can't find her until I find him. Signor Zanetto, Signor Zanetto, hey, what's this? Here he comes. I bet he won't recognize me. Ah, uh, still no sign of Beatrice. Can she have been waylaid? What's this? It's some bullets sent from Venice by the man whose face I slapped. Come, sir, if you were sent here to fight me, then do it like a man. It's me. Ha ha. I beg your pardon, signor. It's me. And who are you? I know I'm late, but I got here, didn't I? Now do you recognize me? No. Now do you recognize me? No, sir, I do not take them away. After I brought them all the way from Bogamo? No way. I don't want them wherever they're from. But they're yours. They're not. All right. Tell me, where are you staying? At this inn here. If it is any affair of yours, I'll take your belongings in there. All right. But it is no concern of mine. The man's a fool. He's left me with this box of jewels. He's lucky I'm a man of honor. Signor Zanetto. What? It is Signor Zanetto. Oh yes, of course. Word travels fast. I must be careful. My mistress has changed her mind about you. Oh, she has. After all, you are a stranger here. 
I know. And oh, very well said, up and fellow. I know. <gasps> she knows. They know. And she's decided. She trusts your honor. Doesn't she, your honor? Ah, your honor. No, your honor. Uh, but you're your honor. Yes, but she honors your honor. Your honor? She honors my honor, your honor. She offers to honor your offer. She offers to honor my offer, your honor. She felt it upon her to offer to proffer and offer to honor your offer. She felt it upon her to offer to proffer to offer to honor what offer? The offer you honored to proffer her. I made no offer to proffer to honor anyone. Ah, oh, you've got an offer. Offer, honor. I was never honored to go offer. Your offer, your inner, your upper. I do beg your pardon, your worship. My boy, do step this way. Senor Zanetto! Senor Zanetto! Can I help you? I'm looking for my master, Senor Zanetto. Your master? He's just gone inside. Inside? Who lives in there? His fiance. Fiance? Hey, I've heard her maid is pretty cute. Cute? Try stunning. Stunning? Why? What's she like? About my size. Yeah. My height. Yeah. My complexion. Oh, don't tell me. You're Columbina. So they tell me. Guess who I am. Mr. Bean? Guess again. You are Aquino. Yeah. You're not disappointed, are you? Disappointed? Are you kidding? Every woman needs a little man to cuddle and to kiss her and to hold her. And every fella needs a little fan to rest a little head upon his shoulder. Columbina! Oh, boom! It's the judge. I'd better go in. Stay right where you are, you big honk. Alekino, where have you been? Hey, I've been looking for you. But they told me you were inside. In there? With your fiancé. Having a bit of slap and tickle? That's enough of it. Where are my things? Your things? They're in your room. In my room? They're in your room in the inn. When were you in my room in the inn? When I put the trunk in. It wasn't in the inn when I was in. When were you in the inn? I was in just before he came out. And it wasn't in? No. Where are the jewels and the purse? Huh? The jewels and the purse. They are in your room in the inn. <laughs> they weren't in my room in the inn. They weren't in your room in the inn? No. Give me the key. Oh, give him the key. That's a wrong key. You didn't lock them up, did you? Lock what up? The jewels and the purse. Look, they are in your room in the inn. They weren't in my room in the inn, what I'm in when I was in. Are there two inns? Twins? Who's talking about twins? I booked a single. Oh, he's been in the inn. Let's have a look in the hotel, motel. Bloody fool. I've been kept waiting for a very long time. This is not the way we do things in Venice. Oh, thank you very much. Senor Zanetto, are you surprised that I asked you to come up? Oh, nothing surprised me in Verona, Senora. For you. I'm glad to hear it. And yes, here is my hand. So it is. And now we are betrothed. Betrothed? I'm afraid there's been some mistake. But these jewels, aren't they for me? Certainly not. Then you have deceived me. Deceive a woman? Never. But my father said that... Then it is a father who has deceived you. My father? Yes, he's an old liar. Liar? An old reprobate. Reprobate? An old charlatan. Charlatan? Liar? Reprobate? But he's a judge! I rest my case. Then you're not my betrothed? I'm afraid not. Oh, but I thought... Daddy! Poor girl. I can understand the disappointment. Still, she's a very attractive young woman. Woman? Says though? Good, senor. 
Hast thou not hearkened to my words? Was thou still marry with this Jasmine? Marry? Certainly not. I am going home to Venice. But could you do me a favor? These jewels. Uh, oh yes. They were given to me in the street by a madman. Could you put them into the hands of the proper authority? I shall, I faith, or never trust me more. Thou art a fine and proper gentleman. I know. At least that's the way we do things in Venice. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, fortune, thou art kind to those in love. These jewels will I use to press my suit, and show as I'm a blight upon the land. Before tonight, I'll have Rosina's hand. Oh. Okay, Alekino, this is the last straw. You have stolen my money and my jewels. I am going to blow this whistle and call the police. I give them to you. I'll count till three. And if you don't tell me where they are, I'm going to blow this whistle and the whole place will be crawling with cops. One. I give them to you in the street. Two. Have you gone right on the bend? Two and a half. Oh, don't blow the don't blow the whistle. I'm innocent. Three. There they come. Oh my God! Oh my God! Okay, Alekhino, this is the last straw. You have stolen my money and my shoes. I'm going to blow this whistle and call the police. I gave them to you. I'll count till three, and if you don't tell me where they are. I'm going to blow this cop, and the whole place will be crawling with whistles. One, I gave them to you in the street. Two, have you gone right on the bend? Two and a half. Oh, blow the whistle. Two and a three quarters. <whistles> Police? Apparently, you have got to arrest this oh. man because he is my servant. And he was supposed to bring some jewels from Bagamo, but he stole them. Oh, this is diabolical! Sorry? Ha! <laughs> you are sorry. Whoa! Oh! 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 Hey! Back the jewels when you find them. They were my uncle's, you know. He gave them to me on my deathbed. Yeah, that's right. My dearest, have pity on me. Huh? Do not leave me. I implore you. I risk life and honor for you. For me? Yes. I love you. I worship you. Give me your hand. You can have them both if you let. You like me? I adore you. I beg you, give me your hand. I'm having a bit of trouble getting up. The hand of my husband. Do not deny me my one wish. What's that? Give me your hand. You can have them both if you let go my pants. Oh, Chanira has found the trees. <coughs> ah, we have a witness, Signor Provindo. At your service, Signora. Will you witness our betrothal? Oh, of course, I would be delighted. But could I have just just one word, one word with the lucky man? Don't go back. I'll be back in a flash. Aren't you being a little hasty? No, she's a lot keener than the other one. The other one? In there, the old fellow's daughter. She won't do it on the spot like this one. You wanted to marry the judge's daughter? I had it in writing. In writing? Yet yeah, now you want to marry? Yes, this one. Oh, but you can't. But why? <laughs> this isn't Arabia. You're allowed only one wife. Okay, then I'll have this one. Oh, but the judge will have you arrested. What for? For breach of promise, he's got it in writing. But I like her; she likes me. Tell that to the judge there. <laughs> Sorry, it's off, my dearest. It's off. The wedding's off. But why? Because this is Indonesia. Do you know? Do you know? Once again abandoned, and 
deluded and protected. He reviles me and rebuffs me. I'm wretchedly rejected. Beatrice. Tonino. Tonino loves another. No. Tonino rules another. No. Tonino seeks another. No. Tonino wants another. Time to take another. Yes, my dearest. Time to take another bow. I want you. I love you. For fear, senor. For fear, for shame. For in my heart there burns one flame. While there's breath within this frame, I'll use it to proclaim one name. Senino. Beatrice. Senino. Beatrice. Senora, I've heard you call and hurry to your side. Oh, senor, she'd never call for you. For you, she can't abide. Senor, I have a claim on her which cannot be denied. Oh, senor, I deny you both. I'm Tonino's bride. I, I want you. you. I love you. I love you. Oh, they make a tap on both my plans. As trouble comes in, Siri grants. To Cupid must I give thanks? Or is this one of fortune's pranks? Oh, Patrice! Tonino! Mikyoi, Mikyoi! Amoy, Amoy, Mikyoi! Fiorone! Fiorone! Florindo! Treditoi! I'm as supple and swift as an Arabic stallion. Like an Arabic stallion, I ride now. Alone I will dare to defy a battalion. To recover my bride now. You're an insolent puppy. Your cheek is infernal. But I am so noble, I spare you. But you, that I love with an order fraternal, Florindo, you traitor, how dare you! You have followed your Romany road and feared our betrothal was blighted. But we trusted in honor and love as our code, as true lovers are now reunited. When the top never more we part, part from, from one another. another. Never, never will I lose the sight of thee. Never more will I find my own fate. Never will I lose my chosen mate. No, we'll never ever separate. No, never more will you part from me. No, never more will you part from me. And Al now to introduce Sina's hand today. But lo, in happy time, the jeweler, Senor, my worthy friend, who worthy with you? Marhaba, Saidi. Marhaba, Saidi, Benocrezio, your humble servant. What can I do for Stand you? Stand further off! Some jewels that I hold in careful trust. They are fine jewels, Saidi. But yet I fear the time had grimed them. Eh? Time had grimed them. Eh? Time had dulled their light with obscure hand. Eh? They're dirty! Well, you had better find the jeweler and have them cleaned. I found the jeweler. Oh, that was quick. I have just the thing here. This will bring them up nicely, but be careful, it's deadly poison, straight from Arabia. Poison? Yes, one lick of this powder, and you are dead. Well, two licks hopefully, but you will be careful, won't you say this? Shukran Jazilan! Shukran Jazilan, Sayyidi! No, just the one! Unpolished still, these gems will win the jewel soon as this powder kills the rustic fool. Good constable, the jewels were a gift, and here's the giver, come in happy time. Oh, my jewels! Those here, oh foolish constable, they're his, he gave. Nay, press them firm into my hand. No, I didn't. Thou gavest them to me in the judge's house. You are a bloody liar. What's this? 
in handcuffs? My reputation gone. My name besmirched. I shall find witnesses. I shall find witnesses. And you can never find the policeman when you want. Take him away. Hey, what about my jewels? My jewels? I'm sick of this bloody town. I should have never come to Verona in the first place. Well, I'm getting out. And you know where I'm going? I'll tell you anyway. Ten miles from Bergamo, there's a little one-horse town. Ten miles beyond Bergamo, I'm going to put my saddle down. I'm going back on the track to Jindy Back, because Jindy Back's the home for me. There's an old-fashioned shack back in Jindy Back. For today, for today, I'm going back on the track to Jindy Back. It's the grandest home in all of Italy. I'm a small town boy, never meant to be a loner. I'll never ever see Verona. I'll never ever have to see Cremona. I'm going, going back on the track to Jindy or back. Windy Jindy, Jindy or back. I wash my hands of Verona. What a city. It sealed the fate of Romeo and the girl, and it very nearly destroyed the happiness of Tonino and Beatrice. But now we are going home to Venice, where men are of pride and decent. Oh, witness! Any man who will go with me to the court and thereabouts, my will be a soul to all. Go down! Now that I hold you, sir, I'll make thou press the box of gems into my hand. That is correct. He that confess. Come tell this to the judge. Oh, you'll be better off taking that fellow with you. He gave me the jewels. Hey, make up your bloody mind! I took them under protest and asked this man to restore them to the rightful owner. That's you! Ah, no. What care I for gold and silver? I have my honor. And now I am going home to Venice. One door closes, another door closes. I can't leave yet. I have to see Rosina again. I can't get her out of my mind. I'll give it for last go. Just... Oh, yes. Oh, 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 oh. So just... <laughs> but soft, what light to yonder broken window? Rosina! Oh. Senor Zanetto, you mustn't come here anymore. I'm sorry about the stone. Please, can I come up and see you? No, Daddy would be very angry. But why? Aren't we going to get married? Well, he does still have the contract. And I did sign it. And then you said you won't marry me. No, I didn't. Please let me come up. I'm getting a crick in the neck. You can't come up. Then you come down here. Please, it's very important. You'll have to say it from there. Okay, all right. Little girl at the window, gazing out the window at the city. Come on down, little girl. See the town, little girl, with this boy, your boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> little boy in the doorstep. Daddy's a judge. Daddy has to guard his daughter's virtue. Little boy in the doorstep. Daughter mustn't budge. Look at me, you'll see, I won't hurt you. Little boy on the doorstep, thinking I'm a fraud. Little boy, you're thinking I'm a chill. See me blush, little boy. See me flush, little boy. What's the rush, little boy? With a girl. This girl who's in a world. Little girl at the window, see the pretty lights. Shake your pretty head and let your hair down. Little girl at the window, see the pretty sight. Come along, I'll even pay a fare down. Little boy in the doorstep, don't be such a clown. Come on down, little girl. Enjoy a little spree. Go away, little kid. Come and play, little kid. Little boy. Little girl. With me. You're so ardent now. Yet earlier this morning, sometimes you seem like two different people. Yeah, I'm a bit of an enigma, ain't I? You're making fun of me. 
Martinino talking with a young woman? But I do love you. Ah. I love you so much that I don't know. A bull without a cow, a cock without a hen, a pig without a pork. I love you so much that oh, I. Oh, Porfirio, faithless lover, oh, cruel deceiver. How shall my mind recover from this its mortal fever? For you I dare my father's wrath. For you I gave a poem and art. For you I tore a gypsy path. I shall follow love the madman. I shall wander without sleep. I shall walk the walls at midnight. I shall take the lover's leap. I shall rend my maiden garment. I shall burst the chain of reason. I shall break its fetters. But first, I shall return your letters. Uh, now, where were we? Oh, Fiddy! Huh? Faithless lover, cruel deceiver! You have a mistress already! Leave my side! No, wait! I will show you how much I hate you! You can have your contract back! Oh, big spoon! If it's going to be like this all the time, I don't think it's worth getting married! <laughs> and another thing! Oh, he's gone! Look at this. I, Zanetto, promise to give my hand to Signora Regina this day. Oh, men, no, don't try to apologize. It's too late. Take this, but you, Puffini, Puffini, Butterfingers. Ah, uh, take your vessels. This ride my bosom worse than thistles. Take this and this and this. And now my fickle, false, and faithless friends. Behold your Beatrice as she goes round the bend. But Beatrice! Beatrice! How very odd! I have never betrayed Beatrice. And as for the other girl, what is this document she threw at me? Contract of marriage, what does it say? Between Signora Rosina and Signor Zanetto. <gasps> this is a forgery. But what's this? Witnessed at Bergamo? Perhaps this is not a forgery. Perhaps there is a wedding planned here. Am I right? Signor, Signora, the young lady of this house, Signora Rosina, is to marry Signor Zanetto. Have you seen him? I imagine he looks rather like me. But perhaps a little, how shall we say, rough around the edges? There he is! The nasty old wrecker! Talking? And nothing has happened! Oh, shut up, Gizzelgots! How very extraordinary! My twin brother here in Verona! I must find him! My girl, you will lose your job if you insult your mistress. No way, the judge won't sack me. I know too much. About him? And about her. Well, what about her? About where she comes from. <laughs> she comes from Verona if she's the judge's daughter. If she is the judge's daughter. You mean she is not the judge's daughter? God, you're quick. Then whose daughter is she? No one knows she was found on the high road by Traveller. On the high road? Whereabouts? Whereabouts? I don't know, I don't know. Please try to remember, this is very important. Now, let me think. It's starting to come back me. She was found halfway between Venice and... And... And Bergamo. How old? Only a baby. And this Traveller brought her to Verona. And sold it to the judge. And perhaps was there a locket for two portraits? Isn't there always? Then it must be her. It can be no other than... Then who? Then my long-lost sister Kylie. Oh heavens, I have found a sister. A sister and a brother in one day. Now I must find Zanetto, expose myself to him, then tell him who I am and share our happy news. But your daughter is 
too young. Oh no, she's not. But she's too unready. Oh no, she's not. But she's too innocent. Oh no, she's not. Get inside this video, saucy little girl. You watch it. They've got the goods on you, Your Honor. But sir, this haste, we must go through with it. She is to marry Senor Zanetto. But she's thrown the contract in his face. I'll make up another. I want to see them married by sunset. By sunset? Then despite my cunning wiles, Rosina will unto my bed be lost. Unless, unless my fertile brain can spawn some trick. In the loo, the woodcock walks towards the spring. Signor Pencrazio, oh Signor, I don't know what to do. I'm in despair. Despair? Yes. Poor wounded buck, come tell that woe. Nobody loves me. Nobody wants me. The women all insult me and chuck things at me. I'm going to throw myself off the stage. Ah! Then clearly, that was not born to wed. Well, what I'm going to do? Weren't you ever in love? I mean, when you're young. Mm. Girl, girl, younger? I was. What did you do for it? Means thou had I some remedy for love. Yes, that's what I wanted. Adolescent love, I found the scars as I poised on passion's words. Lowly slave to flesh years, till a wild old man prescribed the purse. Are you finding love a strain? Do you wish to ease the pain? Flush desire down the drain. See the tide of pass in vain. Oh, yes. Let the woman come in vain. Let them come and come again. You will treat them with disdain once you take this precious bane. Beg your pardon? Precious boon, if you'd make yourself immune. Take a little sip and soon you'll hear the angels sing this tune. Rest in peace. You'll sink in sweet forgetfulness and rest in peace. You'll be freed of all despair. You'll heed no maiden's prayer. You'll see them plead and tear their hair and rest in peace. Does it really work, this stuff? Take but one sip. Then will thou feel no pain. Just one sip? I'll be a new man. See me standing proud and tall. Watch me as the women crawl. Hear me whistle at them all. I'll rest in peace. Rest in peace. I Today deserve... has been so bloody busy. No, but I deserve a little zizz. No more cheerless loneliness. No more jeering, no duress. I'll rest in peace. Rest in peace. Free your pain and fretfulness. And rest in peace. Free of pain and fretfulness. I'll... Take this wondrous anodyne. Stir it in a glass of wine. I'll go and No, go. no, no, the pleasure's mine. Columbina, a glass of wine. Yeah, it is. Oh, white wine. Oh. It's time to close my weary eyes and rest in peace and go to bed by drink the brew and drink it deep then into your chamber creep I promise you eternal sleep you'll rest in peace your health senor a little sprinkle of this a little more a little more this for you. Oh, pretty color. That's better than wearing. That's better than wedding. You rest, rest in, in peace. peace. I'll rest in peace. I'm going back on the track to Jindi Oro back. Cause Jindi Oro back's the home for me. There's an old fashioned track. 
back in Jim the Oro back. That will take my poor bones back. Yeah. I'm going back on the track to Jim the Oro back. I'll rest in peace. He'll rest, rest in, in peace. peace. For today, I have seen my last Venetian Signora. So long, girlie at the window. To the Ludozina. Beatrice, see you later. Ta ta, Colombina. I'll rest in peace. <laughs> Don't cry for me, Alekino. I'm going, going back on the track to Cindy Moro back. <laughs> You'll rest in peace. You'll sink in sweet forgetfulness and rest in peace. Free of pain and fretfulness. No more jealousy, no loneliness. No more jeering, no duress. No more fear, no distress. You'll rest in peace. Patrice! Janino! My own! My own! Excuse me, senor, but I have no right to be here. <laughs> and why is that, pray? You are dead, senor, or else there are two of you. <laughs> I'm certainly not dead, but perhaps... But there are two of him. Amazing. Who could believe it? They don't. Why don't we show them then? All right, all right. I'll show them. No, I can't. It's too shocking. But it's extraordinary. It's unbelievable. Unless... Too late. I found him too late. Found whom? My poor brother Zanetto. Your brother? Then who are you? I am Tonino. Tonino? Tonino, my betrothed. But he's my betrothed. He promised to marry me. No, Signora. That must have been my poor brother Zanetto. Zanetto, Tonino, what's in the name? We want her, she's yours. <laughs> okay, you want me to marry... My daughter, yes. Certainly. Where is she? Right here. This girl, she is not your daughter. You big mouth! Where is the locket? The locket? The locket with two portraits. The locket with two portraits? Yes. Woman in red on one side? Yes. Man in green on the other? Ah, one? yes. Never heard of it. That is. All right. Take it. Can it be? Yes, it is. On one side, my mother. On the other, my father. I shall kiss them both. Careful. You know where they've been. And now, your explanation. Well, your honor. All right, all right. Picture, if you will. Verona, 1725. The great plague carried off a wife and a daughter of a poor young judge. His brother had left him 30,000 ducats to bring the child up. No child, no ducats. The money would pass to my nephew. I lose everything. Unless, unless I found a daughter. A daughter! But where? A traveler knocked at my door. He found a baby on the high road. I did the deal! I got myself a daughter! But I know, not the kind of behavior you expect from the man of law. But I did it for my family! I gave it a love in a home! An education! A future! I was found in this locket? Then I'm your sister! Yes. And I was drawn to you by a brother's love. And you shall be my sister too. But justice must be done, Your Honor. I was afraid of that. Where is this nephew of yours? Is he in Verona? Yes, the young fool. His name is Lelio. Lelio? And here he comes now. Back, back, all of you. This woman is mine. Ah, 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 ah. Rosina. What? The money is rightfully yours after all. My boy, you'll make a splendid son-in-law. 
15,000 ducats down and double your money when... When I go to my final case. 15,000 down? How about it, doll? Daddy? Of course, my dear. He can make you one of the family. Let's go in and drop the contract. Two contracts? Oh, three contracts. Congratulations. Can you forgive me? Ah, you are still my brother. Oh, you are so generous, senor. I know. At least, that's the way we do things in Venice. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, do step this way. What do I see? Senator's theater life! Damn! Had you not drunk the bain to come in? Your, your pardon, all. Good senor, please, one word. Tell me, hast thou drunk it yet? Drunk it? No, I have not drunk it yet. But there was all confirmed in thy resolve. What all confirmed resolve was that? The powder that I gave thee mixed with the wine. So it was you who murdered him? Murdered him? I understand thee not. You murdered my poor brother Zanetto. How many slanders? I beseech you, sir. But you did give him a powder and a glass of wine. Oh, the glass is still clutching. Oh, Senor Bengrads, you asked for a glass of wine. Here it is. And see, it's quite cloudy. That's the very glass. Look. <laughs> a honeymoon souvenir. So you did poison him? Such deeds would be beneath my rank and worth. You swear so? On your honor? My honor has never been so impugned. I beg your pardon, senor. Then drink from this glass and prove your honor. D -d -d drink from this glass? For your honor's sake. For honor's sake? Yes. Give me the glass. See, he's as honest as the judge. Thanks a bunch. But see me drink, and then you'll know the truth. Treat me no emetic. Bring no antidote. Let my ending be prophetic. Let the watching world take the note. The day of judgment is at hand, and let those who sin that have sinned observe. The voice of judgment rings throughout the land, saying, Keep the righteous path and never swerve. For the day of judgment is at hand. Take me in public and watch me expire. I'm a sham and a fraud and a liar. I betrayed every trust. With a heart full of lust and a mind full of thwarted desire. For the day of judgment is at hand. Kindle the torches and build up the fire. Show me no mercy. My deeds have been dire. For the joy of the just, let my body combust and my ashes be trod in the mire. For the day of judgment is at hand, hand into the judgment seat. Clap your hands, stand your feet, sing your sinners by the river, shake and shiver, quick and quiver. Yeah, Lordy, yeah, trusted him with my life. My poor brother did just that. And now, he is dead. But, 
grieved though I am, I still have the consolation of my Beatrice. Tenino! Alakino! Colombina! Rosino! Daddy! Lelio! And when we are married, the first thing I shall do is... Yes? yes? ...to search high and low for the brigands who murdered my mother. At least, that's the way we do things in weddings. Mm. Thank you very much. I have lost a brother, but have found a sister, and a wife, and solved our confusion. The confusion of the Venetian... Ladies and gentlemen, the cast, the judge, Raghav Tirival. Rosina, his daughter, Aryan Yashpal. Kalambina, her maid, Angakrish Gujral. Zanetto, suitor to Rosina for Bergamo, Web of Singh. Pankriadzo, friend to the judge, Minal Kiran Mathur. Beatrice, a Venetian lady, betrothed to Tonino, Siddharth Shaw. Florindo, a Veronese friend to Tonino, Kushagra Agarwal. Lelio, the judge's nephew, Jaden Sangma. Tonino, a Venetian gentleman, identical twin to Zanetto, Tuhin Basu. Alekino, servant to Zanetto, Middle Goda. Policeman, Tapish Datlani. Jeweler, Pradiman Kumar. Fanfare troop, Vishal Gupta, Arman Jasim, Angad Singh. Prompters, Vikram Sajdeva, Sankalp Khanna. The Choir, Rochak Sopti, Justin B. George, Mahipat Singh Gaur, Mani, Aditya Pratap Singh Deoda, Arjit Jaitka, Himang Sharma, Suryavir Singh Rathor, Raghav Sihag, Midul Daga, Mohammad Humayun Abdullah, Pranay Bansal, Adit Badada, Pate Singh Bullard, Aditya Vikram Singh Rathor, Madhav Ladda, Yadvinder Singh, Govind Rakesh Grover, Mohit Dharni Dharka, Mohammad Zaid Khan, Utkarsh Dube, Artesh Singh Hara, Dilip Gurjar, Shaurya Ladda, Harshwardhan Dhaka, Siddharth Jagdish Tandya, Tej Simar Singh Bhatia. The crew, Mr. Ach Lights and Sound, Mr. Ashaldeep Dube, Mr. Manish Kedavat, Mahin Chaudhary, Shavan Gupta, Purshottam Ji, Rakesh Ji, Salam Ji, Pilot Ji. Music, Mr. Arunrag Vinayat, Anubhav Mahadev. IT support, Mr. S. Sri Ram. Costume, Dr. Mrs. Roma Pradhan, Ms. Shakti Buddhi Raja, Ms. Debra Everett, Ms. Garima Sethi, Suraj Rao, Amogra Metra, Jay Makija, Ansh Goel, Kanish Krahilan, Part Sharma, Lomsak Wanchuk, Soham Agarwal, Rajvi Singh Baga, Pranjal Agarwal, Ishan P. Singh, Dushan Singh. Makeup, Mr. Ravi Banka. Stage management, Mr. Achaldi Dube, Mr. Girish Kumar, Mr. Kuntal Majumdar, Dr. Shirish Chandra Mishra, Abhinav Sharma, Siddhan Datta, Nikhil Khatri, Dipankar Singh Rao. Set execution, Mr. Tarun Chaudhary. Design, direction and production, Mr. Sanjay Khati, Head of English and Director of Cultural Activities. <laughs> Acknowledgement, Director come Principal and Staff, Mayo College Girls School, Ajmer, Rashtra Military School, Ajmer, 341st Mechanized Brigade. May I now request His Highness Maharao Prijrat Singh Ji of Kota to give away the Maharao of Kota medal for outstanding performance in dramatics to Tuhin Basu. May I request the principal and college vice captain to escort him. Basu.
Ladies and gentlemen, in the end, introduction to the play, Pratik Shankar and I, Praneet Khandal. May I now request our chief guest, Mr. Arun Lal, to kindly come up on the stage, meet the cast and the crew, and also say a few words, sir. May I request the staff who all helped uh, to kindly come up on the stage and join the boys. Absolutely superb. Thank you so much. Really, I think all of us have really enjoyed it. Let's have hands together one more time, please. Magnificent. Actually, Mayo has come a long way. <laughs> yeah. I had never, I've never seen a play like this in our time. I'm sure a lot of old boys are here and they'll concur. But this was magnificent. Uh, it was professionally done. And uh, I, can't, I can't thank you enough. Really well done. Thank you. Great production. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, with this, we come to an end of the show. Thank you and good night.